So just about set. And on the mound now, Charlie Morton. The first He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. And it drops in. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Big RBI for him right there. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Two on, one out. Ripped on the ground a second. Over to That's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. One run a pair. Back at Truist Park. Starting on the mound in this one, Jose Buto. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Just missed it. Here's Pete Alonso, one for two. Center field. Harris racing after it. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. That's out number two. So one out with two aboard. Here's Sean Murphy. To first might be two. Lindor, that's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, there are guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Back here in Atlanta, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. The pitch. And a foul ball. Jimenez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. And the pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this moment. New inning getting started and stepping in for New York, Pete Alonso. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. He'll circle the bases. It's his sixth home run of the season, and the Mets on the board first. It's 1 0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on. Runner on at first with one gone. And now, Adam Duvall. Duvall. Right-handed reliever. Towards first, and it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner around second. And the throws offline, safe at third. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Base is empty one away. Here's Pete Alonso. He swings and fouls one off. Since debuting in 2019, no player in the majors has hit more homers than Pete Alonso. That's yep, outside, that's and that's ball one. 
The Braves up big in this one here in the second game of the series. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. One and two here. And two another ball. ball. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Here's some real power at the plate. Pete Alonso. He's already homered here in this one. And a big swing and a miss. Alonzo goes six feet, three inches, 29 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Line drive. Come on. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely. And next for the Mets, Pete Alonso. He's already homered in this game. And he blows that one by him at 100. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. 8-3 the final in this one. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the New York Mets going up against the Atlanta Braves. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Ronald Acuna Jr. Always exciting to see him in it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second and stepping in for New York, Pete Alonso. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A gigantic blast. His second homer of this series. And the Mets jump in front. It's 1-0. Singy, that's his 199th career home run. Well, 200 homers is an exciting number for anyone to get to. He's got to be looking forward to that next one a lot. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, Boog. He squared it up and knew it was gone. One gone runner at first. Now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. Oh, Zuna. And he'll one. On the ground to third. Nice stop. Throws from his knees. Over to McNeil. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We play two full. It's the Mets four and the Braves nothing. Man at first. And now it's the, the polar bear, bear Pete Alonso. One home run shy of 200. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A massive home run. His second home run of the game. And they add a couple more. It's 6 nothing. Singy, somebody go track down that baseball. It's number 200 for him. 200 career home runs, that's legitimate power at the plate, and that's something that a lot of guys would dream of getting to. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. To the slight opposite field, into the gap, man, making it look easy. And we're back. Here's Pete Alonso. Bummer, back to work. Foul ball. 
Well, these Mets putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say, oh, nice stop and a slide. And they get the out. Belbug is an infielder. You have to be ready for anything. In that spot, it required going to the ground, getting a little dirty, and making a strong throw for the out. Great play. So two down. Here's Austin Riley. Out to short. Lindor. They get the force. They limit the damage here. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Five innings complete. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonso. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. And that's outside, and that is ball one. Nobody on here at the top half of inning number seven. Two outs. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They're still up. Seven. Back at Truist Park. On to extra innings. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. The pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, they'll be some second guessing for sure. So runners at the corners, nobody out. So up next for New York, Prince. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. So he needed a strike out there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in the spot where they really needed it. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And he will one. Line drive to short and caught. Takes it to the bag himself and doubles him off. Two. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the New York Mets going up against the Atlanta Braves. Man at first with one gone. Here's Pete Alonso. Blasted two home runs in last night's game. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. Chopped left side, Riley. Good feed, that's one, and that's two. 
So it's one run on two base hit. Pete Alonso, the next to hit. He hit into a double play his first time up. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. McNeil, the runner at first with two gone. Base hit, left center field. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Two on, two outs. Lifted in the air, right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Two left for the Mets, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. So here's Murphy now. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. To first, maybe a two-ball. And that one finds its way through. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He beat it, straight. Comes through with the RBI. Not much to this one other than just a... Stepping in, the long ball threat, Pete Alonso. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Ripped to third and caught. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. And here's the first baseman, Pete Alonso. One for three. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Chopped out towards short. Arcia. First out in the top of the eighth. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. These players just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series. You got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further. Put yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this play. Oh, 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 these players, you can tell they feel the energy. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.